Hey guys, it is official. We've got our first rumors for the summer 2024 LEGO Marvel sets, and man, this literally sounds like it could be the best wave ever. Now, these come from places like TNN Bricks, Exabricks Lego over on Instagram from Brick Clicker from 1414 Falcon Fan. So go check out all of those people if you want to see where this came from. But I've aggregated all the info here and let's just get into it. At 15 bucks, there's a rumored Iron Legion versus Ultron bots. Now, as a bit of a Marvel nerd, this doesn't make a ton of sense because the Iron Legion never actually fights Ultron bots, but for 15 bucks to get Ultron drones and Iron Legion minifigs together so cheap, that sounds awesome to me. One thing to note, though, is the Iron Legion will more than likely use the new flat-faced Iron Man helmet as opposed to the old molded one that we see here, so just be aware of that. I still think that the old ones are so good they're going to be impossible to beat, but it will be nice to army build with something new for 15 bucks. Jumping up to $25, we've got the Surtur Battle from Thor Ragnarok. Now, this would presumably come with like a brick-built Surtur, and then of course Thor from that opening scene. And I really don't know how much more could be included for only 25 bucks, but that would be pretty cool. Hopefully, Surtur is built more like the Giant Man Ant Man build and less like the 2014 Groot or something, because Marvel figures, when they're built, typically aren't all that great. So I can't imagine Surtur being amazing, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Jumping up to the $60 price point, we've got the 18 plus midi scale helicarrier with 509 pieces. It's pretty much impossible to say if this would come with a minifig or not. I could see them just throwing like a Nick Fury in there just for the heck of it. But at $60, I could also see it not coming with any minifigs. So we'll just have to wait and see. But at 509 pieces, this is going to be pretty interesting. So yeah, we'll jump on that. Next up, we've got the Avengers Battle for $60. Now, we don't really know much about this other than the fact that Hulk is included. Hulk being included leads me to think that maybe just maybe this could be the Avengers Assemble shot from the 2012 movie. But again, at this time, we really don't know enough to say. And at 60 bucks, it really could go in any direction. Also at $60, crazy, we're getting so many sets for the same price, we've got Potted Groot. Now, I assume that this is going to be kind of built like the Groot buildable figures, which would be cool, but at $60, I feel like people are just going to take it or leave it. The set I'm probably most excited about, or at least the most excited to see how it could play out, is the Age of Ultron Final Battle, which will be $109.99 and come out on August 1st. Also note, I haven't set any dates for these. With the rumors that have come out, this is the first one that has a date attached to it, so just be mindful of that. Anyways, for 109 bucks, I have to imagine that this would be built in the same style as the Spider-Man Final Battle from No Way Home, with the diorama base and a small build to put your minifigs around, but this mock I found from Commander Bricks kind of looks like what I imagine it could turn out to be, uh, so that will be very interesting. That being said, it's Really tough to think what minifigs may or may not be included here, so let's go ahead and break down what my prediction is. Captain America, I think, is an absolute lock-in, especially because we already have an Age of Ultron Captain America in that Black Widow motorcycle set. At number two, I think you have to get Iron Man. Uh, they'd have to make a new one because there's not currently an Age of Ultron era Iron Man out. But then Black Widow also comes in that Captain America set think you gotta get Thor. I think you gotta get Ultron. I think we already have Vision from the tower, but we could get him with full legs instead of the phasing legs. I think we're gonna get a Hulk here, just would need the pants recolored. And then my kind of, you know, wild choices here are Quicksilver, because there was a leaked Quicksilver torso some time ago. I kind of questioned the legitimacy of it. Didn't look super legit to me, but that did leak out there. I'm not going to post a picture for, you know, copyright reasons, but, uh, you know, it could be Quicksilver because he was here. And then, of course, Hawkeye. Now, I went with nine figures here because that's roughly what we got with the Spider-Man set for the same exact price. So, you know, it'd be nice to also get Scarlet Witch here, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. The big one is the Milano spaceship at $169.99 coming out on August 1st. And the Milano, of course, is the Guardian's ship from the first movie. So this would presumably celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the first Guardian's movie. Dang, I'm getting old. But I think that this would come with basically the entire fleet from the first movie. And by fleet, I mean minifigs like Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, and Rocket in their Red Ravager outfits. And since we already got Rocket in the January 2024 wave, that's one minifig less that would need to be made, which would be really good. Then I don't know what they would do about Groot. Maybe put him in the pot. Maybe give us a Groot build-a-fig or something. I'm not really sure. 
Uh, and technically, they already made Ronan, so maybe they could bring him back too. But at 170 bucks, I'm sure that this will be in line with the uh, Guardians Benatar ship from the Infinity Saga. And while neither of these two are super exciting, we do have to talk about the 4 plus Iron Man motorcycle that's rumored. Really not sure what could be here, but here's the last 4 plus Iron Man set. But the one you're looking at here was $27.99, so at least at $10.99, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm kind of actually excited to see what they do, because the 4-plus minifigs are always dialed in and great. The final confirmation rumor we've got is an advent calendar coming for Marvel yet again, which is always awesome. Gotta love that. And too early to say what it could be. We do have a lot of Age of Ultron excitement going on here, so I would definitely expect to see some Age of Ultron minifigs in the advent calendar. But at this time, it's too early to say, so we just gotta stay tuned for that. But with that being said, gonna go ahead and bring this video to a close. Let me know what video, or excuse me, let me know what sets you're most excited about from this rumors list. And of course, remember, everything here are just rumors. So anything could happen, but stay tuned because I'll keep you up to date as we learn more. Like I said, let me know what you think. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.